When you think about the hurdles, it's such a technical event. It's not something that I or Coach Shaver could have done on our own. It takes a team. You have just 12 seconds to do all of this. We can find the mistakes before we go to a big competition. It's just definitely vital. If I have one mistake over one hurdle, that's it. That's the race. You're over. See you in another four years. She came to me and, and was wondering and asking me, you know, what are the things that we might be able to do that are going to help you, uh, you know, as we go on through the process of, of uh, trying to improve. I was like, Coach, what do I need? And he was like, we need data. From that, Lola and Coach Shaver uh, identified a few things they wanted to measure in terms of her running technique. That's where the idea was born. Motion capture, in this case the Vicon system, is a 3D rendering system for the analysis of uh, movement, basically. You have multiple cameras that are designed to recognize reflective markers, which Lolo wears on her body. And so you know in three-dimensional space where each of those 39 markers are 250 times a second. So when she's moving through the capture area for the, for the cameras, we can identify down to millimeters her movement patterns, how the different limbs are moving relative to each other. So through that analysis and understanding, we can really start to pick it apart. Uh, from the zero, from the edge. The opto jump that we have laid out on the track is really a 2D system that allows us to look really quickly at simple things like stride length, contact time, flight time, and that provides almost instantaneous feedback and gives us a quick insight into what's going on with Lolo as she's running down the track. In the old days, uh, high-speed uh, capture was film, and most of the time the film broke. Nowadays, the Phantom Flex that we're using on the track with Red Bull Project X provides 1,000 frames per second, high resolution, and just amazing turnaround time. It's instantaneous in terms of our feedback to the coach and to ourselves. I mean, this is, this is, this is totally awesome. The beauty of it is that the motion capture is going, the opto jumps going, and we have the Phantom High Speed. We can actually integrate all three uh, sources of information and provide one overall and really comprehensive look at what she's doing. Lolo runs the 100 meter course in about 12.5 seconds. It's 13.5 meters to the first hurdle, where Lolo reaches a speed of 8 meters per second. Her toe leaves the ground 2.3 meters from the first hurdle, but despite clearing the 83.8 centimeter hurdle, her center of mass rises less than 30 centimeters due to her efficient technique. She lands 0.6 meters past the hurdle and maintains a rhythmic pace of approximately 8.4 meters per second through the rest of the race. One of the many things the data can measure is contact time, or the amount of time Lolo's foot is in contact with the ground. Shorter contact times equal more speed, and as she warms up, her contact times diminish. By her fourth attempt, her average contact times are the shortest, pinpointing exactly how many warm-up runs Lolo needs for peak performance. Here we are, just trying to support a partnership between Coach Shaver and Lolo. We're trying to marry really cutting edge sophisticated technology with high level performance and coaching. Her center of mass is directly above her ankle. Coach Shaver gets something that he's sort of looking or wants to pay attention to in a little bit more detail. The hips have to be projected upwards. And from there, he is able to sort of take his own experience and what he understands about the sport and that's where the real beauty of the information comes to play. The data that we're, you're, you know, that you're providing me is data that just takes all the total guesswork out that, that uh, over the years that I've had to do and we're seeing some of the same things that we think need to be changed but this really gives us an opportunity to where we can fix it. If you can fix one small thing over one hurdle, you're gonna fix that over 10 hurdles, and those thousands add up. She has an advantage, her coach has an advantage that none of the other girls really have. I feel like Red Bull Project X is my edge, and sometimes that's just all you need.